Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of eyeshadow tutorials on my channel for my hooded eye boys and girls. But today we're doing something a little bit different. I know I feel like I've been saying that a lot in my videos, but I told myself for 2019 I was going to incorporate some new content for you guys, which is why we're adding in some new things like this today. Don't worry, if you're here for my tutorials for eyeshadow, that will always be the main focus of my channel. I will always be a super heavy eyeshadow tutorial type of channel but I do want to incorporate some new things so you guys don't get bored and so I don't get bored so today we are going to talk about the irresistible me sapphire 8 in 1 complete curler this is what the box looks like that it comes in once you open the box you'll see that there's a super super cool little pouch so the pouch kind of buttons up into this square-like type of thing here, which is so convenient for traveling. It's also heat proof. So if you curl your hair real quick and you gotta like get on the road, you can put everything in there and it's not gonna burn through, which is super, super nice and convenient. So once you open up the pouch, I obviously have all the barrels out because I wanna talk about them with you, but there's a slot for each and every barrel and you can even put the curling iron in there as well. So everything you need fits in this super compact little pouch. This reminds me of when I started doing makeup. I had two little pouches like this with little nets in there and I had like all my skincare and I would lay it out for all my clients. So this brings back really, really good memories for me. In addition to that, it comes with a glove, which is super convenient if you're not used to using a wand. It does take some getting used to, so I definitely suggest using a glove that they send, obviously, and then long sleeves or a sweatshirt so you don't burn your arm. I've been using a wand for like 10 plus years at this point, but I definitely got some welts on my arm when I was getting used to it. In all honesty, I would probably get welts at this point if I was using like a standard clamp wand, but I don't like those. I think that they leave like a little bit of a clamp in your hair, and I just haven't used one for such a long time. I way, way prefer the wand. So. I do want to show you the base of the wand to start. So this is what it looks like. It is digital. This is the power on button. You hold it down for just a couple seconds and you'll see it will flash red and it displays the heat you have it set to. This heats up super fast. In almost 20 seconds, it's ready to go. So be careful when you turn it on because this baby really, really heats up fast. Of course, there's the two buttons right here that turn the heat down or turn the heat up, which is really nice and that is really it when it comes to the wand. I definitely prefer a very simple wand like this as opposed to a lot of buttons because even as it is when I curl, I sometimes turn the heat up and down as I hold it, so even more buttons would get even more confusing and distracting for me and I'd be pressing things all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of the barrels. So you'll see the bottom of the barrel right here, that is where the heat kind of goes up into the barrel and the two little prongs on the side, so right here and then there's one on the other side as well, hopefully you guys can see that, that is where you stick it in to the base. I will say that they are a bit difficult to get on, but you do know that it's on for sure when you get it on. So at first I was a little worried that I was going to somehow break these and then it wouldn't work anymore. That is still a fear, so I do want to mention that. If one of these were to break on the side, you would kind of be screwed. So maybe at some point they'll work on that, but I haven't had any issues. And it does require some pressure to stick it in the barrel and then you twist to lock it. So you'll see there is a locked and unlocked little button here. So I have mine unlocked obviously, and then when if I was to take it off, I would just twist it to unlock and then pull. The wand is also a twisty wand, which is super convenient. If you don't have a twisty wand or any kind of hairstyling product, you know you get all like stuck in it and you have to jump over the cord. So that makes it super, super convenient. This is also a very, very, very lightweight 
curling wand, which is super nice if you have super long, thicker hair like me because your arm gets so tired when curling your hair. A lot of times that's why I don't even do my hair because I am just too lazy to sit through it and I know my arms are gonna be in pain. So having a lightweight, like I am telling you this is so lightweight. When I first got it, I was like, holy cow, that is lightweight. I almost thought like, wow, that might feel a little bit cheapy, but in all honesty, I would rather have something that felt like this as compared to a super, super heavy, like super luxe kind of hair curling iron because it is so much lighter and so much more convenient to curl my hair. So I do want to go through each and every one of the wands as well. So I'm going to step out of the frame and kind of tell you about what I've experienced with the curls and what I like best. All right, so to start out, we have the 13 millimeter or half inch barrel. This is a very standard barrel. It's gonna give you one of those perfect, super tight curls. So if you're looking for like Irish dancer curls or you want to curl your hair super tight and brush it out for like kind of a lion's mane style hair, kind of like an avant-garde look, this would be perfect for that. I like this when I'm looking for those really, really tight curls. Rare occasion for me, but really nice to have in my collection. All right, so next up we have the 18 slash 9 millimeter wand. This is a 3 fourth inch and then it goes all the way down to 3 eighths of an inch. So as you can see, this is a descending wand which will give you very tight curls like the 13 millimeter or half inch wand but they'll be a little larger on top, so you'll get a little more volume up there. I don't use this one too often either just because I'm more of a large curl kind of girl, but it's nice to have in my collection if I am going to be curling someone's hair. I think this would be great if you were a makeup artist because you never know what kind of hair your client is gonna have, and you can get a little more volume on top. A lot of times when you have heavy, little curls, it can get a little bit flat, so this is nice to give you a little more kick at the top. All right, so next up we have the Pearl, which is definitely the most interesting looking wand in the kit. This will give you a very natural looking curl because it's not so perfect. So that half inch wand that I showed you is obviously gonna give you a very perfect curl because it's the same throughout. So let me just pull that back up so you guys can see. This is gonna give you just a perfect curl because it is the same, whereas the pearl is gonna change things up a bit depending on how you wrap your hair around it. So if you have naturally curly hair and you let it air dry, this would be a nice one when you wake up in the morning, just add in a couple curls because it's not gonna look so perfect and like you curled your hair. Again, not my favorite because I do not have naturally curly hair. I have a little bit of a wave, but I'm glad I have it to kind of play with a little bit more. All right, so next up we have the 19 millimeter or 3 fourth of an inch barrel so obviously very similar to the half inch just slightly bigger this will give you those what I like to call prom curls so very perfect just kind of like the perfect size curl if you are looking for you know prom hair that's the best way I can describe it you're not gonna get a loose wave you're not gonna get the most tight curl it is a prom curl I'll also flash up some pictures of what I'm talking about so you guys can see, but very, very standard wand and very good to have in your collection. All right, so next up we have the 25 slash 13 millimeter. So it goes from one inch to half an inch, well, half inch to one inch actually. So this one is ascending. So again, it's gonna give you a not so perfect curl. It's gonna be a little tighter on the top and a little bit larger at the bottom. So again, if you have naturally curly hair but it's not like like ringlet curls this would be a nice one since it's not so perfect again I don't use this one as often as I use the straight ones because I don't have naturally curly hair but it's really nice to throw in if I want to kind of change up my curls if I'm going for like a tighter curl look so very interesting wand and I'm happy to have this one as well so this one is the 25 slash 13 millimeter so the polar opposite of what I just showed you which I'll bring up once again so again this is just gonna give you a little bit more of a natural curl so this one is gonna be 
be a little bit thicker on the top and a little bit tighter as you go down the barrel. And then we have our standard 25 millimeter, which is a one inch barrel. So again, a very perfect curl, except they'll be a little bit larger. So this isn't gonna give you like the beachy wave. It could actually, you know, if you didn't leave the curl on as long, but it's gonna be a little bit tighter. So pretty standard. I'm sure you all are used to seeing a one inch barrel. And then we finally have the 32 millimeter or one and one fourth inch curler, which is my personal favorite because I really prefer a beachy loose wave. I like to get my hair curled as fast as possible. I think this works best when you have medium to long hair and this is the curling iron I'm going to show you once again I'm sure you guys are used to seeing this kind of wand a lot of people use this a lot of like celebrities use a one 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 and one fourth or one and a half inch to really get those kind of like lived in messy beachy curls and that is what I prefer so again standard wand will give you a pretty perfect curl but more on the beachy side so I did want to mention that the barrels do have ceramic tourmaline tourmaline technology which helps to eliminate frizz and smooth hair which is something I definitely need I get frizzies all over the place especially when I kind of pump up my hair like that and I've noticed through using this wand that my curls have lasted so long a lot of times my curls fall really quick but I have seen a very very drastic difference in using this wand so my hair really likes these barrels and like I said you probably saw I was turning it on when I was talking about the one and a fourth inch barrel and it is ready to go it heats up in 20 seconds which is super super nice so I'm gonna just kind of speed through curling my hair so you guys can see how this works I'm gonna go for again the kind of like beachy waves I'm just gonna separate my hair I'll curl the bottom first and then I'll curl the top and you guys can see what it looks like so if you wanted more of like a natural kind of look, you could go in with the one inch barrel and the one fourth inch barrel, maybe more towards the face with the one inch. And that would look a lot more natural because you're gonna have the variance in curls, which is what natural hair would have. But I'm gonna go in with a pretty decent chunk of hair which is what I like because like I said, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to hair and I just wanna get things done. I just try to make sure that the hair is like generally in the same area and I'm gonna try to not burn myself because I'm looking in my tiny little iPad and I'm basically just gonna hold it for a few seconds. I like to leave a little bit out. I don't think that's focusing on the hair but you'll see what the curl looks like and then I drop it into my hand and a lot of times I'll pin it up if I'm doing something fancy and I need them to last a super long time but I'm just gonna pin it up let it cool for a second I'll stand up so you guys can see so that is what the curl looks like with the one and a fourth and then I like to just kind of pull on the end so it's not quite so perfect and they'll fall apart a little bit and then at the end I'll go through and even brush it out a little bit so I'm gonna just continue around my head like that I'm going to wait to spray everything until the end and then I just kind of use a scrunchie to keep all of the hair that I've already curled back because I don't know how to not combine them. So now we're going to go on to the top of the hair which is the bulk of my hair. I just like to have a couple of, you know, I probably put about five in the back there just so they're not neglected for the most part. So I'm going to go a bit thicker in the front so you'll see this is probably like a two inch section, which might be a little too big actually. I'll take that and we'll start on the top. So you can see how I lay the hair flat as I curl. I try not to twist it because then the curl looks a little funky. I don't know why I do this at the top. I just do, I think it kind of smooths. And I like to grab sections from just the top and I curl them backwards like this. I do have like a full on curling tutorial from a couple years ago if you're interested in seeing like a more in depth video.
and I'm sure you guys know this, but you really just want to curl your hair until you feel the heat coming through. So as soon as I feel any kind of heat, once I wrap, I'll let go. So I'm not holding it too long. And I usually try to hold at the bottom there because that's where I curl last. So I definitely feel heat coming through. I'm going to let go. And I'll let you guys know how long this takes. Not that I'm trying to be super speedy. All right, one half down, other side to go. This side of my hair is a lot thinner than the other side, so I'm actually gonna separate the bottom on this one just to give myself a little more volume. And I think grabbing different size uh, sections as well is also good to kind of give a little bit more of a messy look if that's what you're going for. Sometimes I like to let the curls cool on the other side of my head. So I'll curl it and then throw it to cool on that side of the head, if that makes sense. I'll show you with this one because then I feel like I get a little more volume. But they don't stay like on the other side of my head too often because I'm moving as I curl my hair, obviously. So I'll tap it, tap it, tap it, and then let it cool like that. Alright, and that took me a whopping 14 minutes to curl my entire head, which is awesome. So at this point, I'm just going to kind of shake it out and style it so it's not quite so perfect. Alright you guys, and this is the completed look. These are my all time favorite curls. I'm just going to stand up so you guys can see all the way to the bottom. I think they look so beautiful. They look effortless. I hope you guys can see everything here. And tomorrow they will still be there and they will fall like a little bit, but they'll still look awesome. And I have to contribute that to this wand. It has made such a difference with my curls. So I hope this video was helpful to some of you. If you guys are thinking about purchasing this wand, like I said, I'm not making any money off of this at all, but definitely check out the link if you want to get 20% off towards the iron. I think it's about $150, but they run different kind of sales all the time. So like I said, if you guys are in the market for an eight in one curling iron, I think the Irresistible Me Sapphire eight in one complete curler is a really, really nice option. Don't feel pressured to buy it if you don't want to. I'm just really enjoying it. If you guys have any questions at all on this iron, please let me know. I will answer as much as I possibly can. And I hope you enjoyed this new content. Let me know what you thought about it below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the world to me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.